My name is Bernadette. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about the struggle of putting yourself first. So if you're someone who is constantly weighing the pro and cons and is really struggling with not upsetting anybody by putting yourself first. This is the pep talk you need to just follow through with it. Because there is one literal law that if you are not putting yourself first, you will never have the capacity, the strength, the endurance, the awareness to be there for anybody else. It will drain you, you will be tired, you will do it halfway, you will not be consciously there 100%. So you need to put yourself first. And today is the day you decide to do that. You will not pick up the phone even if it's your best friend. You will not pick up the phone if it's your mom because all of this can wait 24 hours. If you need to rest, you need to rest. If your kids need your attention, you can give them something to play with. They have to learn to respect you as you have to learn to respect yourself. Because if you are not the person who is showing the respect, if you don't treat yourself as a person you would respect, Nobody else will. Nobody else will. You will get drained left or right. You will get taken advantage of. You will never ever figure out what are your real preferences. Maybe it's hard in the, in, for starters, you know, to say no, to not go into the, your default pattern of being there for everybody else. Maybe it will feel selfish. Maybe it will feel uncomfortable because we want to be nice, right? But if you're not nice to yourself, if you don't listen, if you don't listen to your needs, what you need in the moment, how will you ever figure out what are your real preferences? If you're all, all, all only uh, drained and exhausting, uh, exhausted showing up for other people, this will never be satisfying. You will never enjoy, enjoy the company of others. You will never give 100% really. And it will always be like half as. It will always be because it should be done. You should, first of all, realize that listening to your needs, listening to your preferences will give you the, pl the blueprint of figuring out any decision you have to make in the future. You will maybe struggle a little. You, it will make feel uncomfortable in the beginning, but this is detrimental for your energy level, for you yourself figuring out what you like and what you dislike in life, what you like about yourself and how you show up for yourself and for the others in the world. And there is no way around it. You can tell to your mom if she's calling you, I will call you tomorrow. I have a headache. You can tell to your friend, you text back, I'm not up for a chat today. You can tell your kids, mommy needs half an hour just to wind down, just to lay back. And this is the healthy boundaries you have to make to actually develop your own personality to figure out what you feel in the end. Because it's not the work or the showing up for others that drain us. It's stress that drains us. And this five minutes, this 10 minutes, this half an hour, this 24 hours, someone has to wait until you, you, you get back to them. This will change nothing. This is possible. This is not like, uh, 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 
letting other people down, letting your kids down, letting your partner down, partners down. This is actually showing up for you first. This is detrimental for your energy levels, for your personality to develop, for your, for your entire life not to be bombarded and being constantly under stress. So this was my message for today. If you want me to guide you through this, to give you further tools to implement this healthy boundaries, to show you where you can gain, where you find these little pockets of time for yourself in the day, how you can talk to someone who needs a little bit of, um, to learn this, to, to learn to respect you more. If you need some little tools to show you how you can respect yourself more and in order to uh, respect yourself more, having a more pleasant uh, flow through your day, I will be delighted to show you what you can do, where you find these moments, how you find these little pockets of time, please feel free to contact me either via my email or I will put a contact form in the comment section so you can contact me and we will have a free discovery call and pick you up where you're at. Otherwise, like my, my videos or share them with someone, someone who needs a little pep talk or write in the comments how you yourself find these this boundaries, how you find this self-respect in your daily life. I think other, others would be also delighted to hear this. So this was my message for today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.